So quickly, we'll, we'll give a kind of high level comparison introduction to some types of phase transformation. Some of them, we call them civilian phase transformation. In comparison, some phase transformation, we call them military types of phase transformation. Civilian versus military. This is kind of like a high level category of the phase transformation. Civilian means the stuff would happen like um, civilians, like uh, civilian people. They are less organized, more random ad hoc okay and in comparison military type of phase transformation you can imagine the atoms would like uh, the typical military the soldiers move at a constant speed synchronized especially if you think of the when they march in the queers right and they kind of like one two one two very organized fashion. That's military type, then that is kind of the feature for this military type of its transformation. And in terms of the temperature effect, the civilian would be so-called thermally activated, which means the higher the temperature, these types of transformation happens quite often. You need a temperature activation. Higher the temperature, quite often it, the transition goes faster. Military is not really a temperature driven. It's not, uh, you don't see a dramatic effect. I will put it that way. You don't see a dramatic effect um, from temperature on the speed or the rate of transformation. And then in terms of composition in this phase transformation, for military phase types of phase transformation, that's the new phase versus the matrix of the host phase, they have the pretty often have the same composition. So which means before and after the phase transformation, the two phases quite often would have the exact same composition. Then you ask me what would change? If the composition is changed, it's the same, what would change? Well, the crystal structure may still change, makes sense? Lattice parameter may change, but the composition chemically from atomic point of view, how many one atom A, how many atom B, they remain the same. We'll talk about this. But for civilian, there are two types. The majority of them involve different composition, but there are also some that remains in the same composition. Okay, and in terms of the nature of diffusion in this process, diffusion again is mass transport at atomic scale random motion due to this. And for the military types of its transformation, it believe it or not, it do they do not involve diffusion. Because it's not a random process. All the atoms would move at the same time in the same direction for the same speed. That's not diffusion. Diffusion is what? The atoms move pretty much randomly. You cannot predict how individual atoms move, which direction they go. You cannot at all. So civilian, there will be diffusion depending on whether it's short range or long range. Long range means acro across many, many grains. Short range means kind of within a few grains. Okay. And then rate limiting step. Okay. Because military, they don't involve diffusion. So typically, they would be so-called interface control or reaction control. In comparison for civilian, some of them would be remain as reaction control, which means diffusion can be fast, which means all, put another way, diffusion is very short range. Short range, which means the time for diffusion would be long or short. Short range means the square root of dt is a very small number, then I don't need a long t, right? So in those cases, it quite often would be so-called reaction or interfacial control. But for the others, there can be so-called diffusion control or mixed control between reaction control and uh, diffusion control. And then we have some examples. The so-called twinning or modern side. We'll talk about that later. Modern side of phase transformation would be for military types of phase transformation. Well, civilian, we have the green girls. Green girls, oh, you think, kind of same phase. Well, one region gets larger. Alpha to gamma phase transformation in iron. Same composition, right? It's both iron, both iron. But from alpha phase to gamma phase, from BCC to FCC, 
that is a change in crystal structure and a change in lattice parameter. You don't need diffusion because composition doesn't really change. Okay, in those cases it would be so-called interface controlled. But for some other solidification, eutectic phase transformation, they all involve diffusion, and we will talk about them later.